Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Securing the Built Environment. This is episode 144 and in this episode we are talking about how Apple uses liveness detection in Face ID and how I would expect that Apple's Face ID will be rolled out to broader uses beyond just logging in with the iPhone. So uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about three things. Uh, what is liveness detection? How does Apple use liveness detection in its authentication process? And where can you go to learn more about companies that are building products and services that are doing liveness detection? Because you might find that you might need this type of thing for your company or some other application uh, to increase the security of your user data or just improve the uh, authenticate, uh, authentication process that you're using. So what is liveness detection? Well, liveness detection is an authentication technology that uses biometric readings uh, to detect whether you're a real person in the real world. It is a type of uh, security verification process, it uses special technology that usually combines special cameras along with algorithms uh, to determine whether a person is real as opposed to a synthetic person like a deep fake or a video or a, a photograph of the person that's trying to authenticate. And with the uh, rapid growth of artificial intelligence, uh, liveness detection, I think, is one of the most important technologies out there because with deep fakes becoming basically indistinguishable from live video recordings of humans, um, we're going to run into a massive problem with authentication and uh, people being spammed and spoofed by people who are, or you know, bad actors, uh, criminals who are using videos of you to try to get access to your identity or your personal data. So how does Apple use liveness detection in its Face ID service, which is built into almost every iPhone today? Um, the Face ID service was built uh, launched in around 2017 to replace the Touch ID, which was their primary authentication service. I, I would actually love it if they would incorporate both. <laughs> it would be great if, they, if there was a way for people to uh, have their fingerprint and also have Face ID uh, be required on the iPhone, or at least give people the option to do that as a way to use multi-factor authentication. Um, but you know, Apple has a unique technology that uh, is probably the most widely used type of biometric liveness detection in the world today. I'm, I'm guessing it. I don't want any data to support that, but I'm just, it's a hunch. So uh, what Apple does is on the iPhone, uh, Face ID is enabled by, well, the, you know, the liveness detection of Face ID is enabled by the phone's true depth camera which uses advanced liveness detection technology to capture an accurate representation of your facial identity. And to do this, what it does is it has the true depth camera project and analyzes thousands of invisible little laser dots onto your face, and it creates a depth map. And then the phone also captures an infrared image of your face and both the depth map and the infrared image are used to create a mathematical representation of your face, which is then compared to the representation that you recorded with your facial data when you uh, first set up your face ID and when you go to authenticate. And you can make this even more secure uh, by changing the settings in your iPhone, which I would definitely, definitely recommend that you do, uh, by requiring what's called attention, which means that you have to be looking with your eyes open at the camera when you're authenticating with Face ID. Now, uh, the beyond Apple, I mean, Apple has a, a really great process for doing this, but there are actually a lot of other companies that are building uh, solutions in the liveness detection area. And it's not just face ID or face liveness detection, it's voice liveness detection. That's also very important. It could be multi-factor authentication with voice and face 
Um, I would expect that those types of things to be uh, much more common for people when they're logging in. It's it's sort of um, shocking how few companies are requiring uh, in the healthcare or financial services industries or in cellular communications. Uh, the, it's shocking how few people are requiring people to have some sort of biometric authentication when they are calling into customer service or whether they're transacting with their different services uh, because, um, you know, it's just so easily spoofed these days. Uh, people can be faked and you m just may find yourself the, being the victim of some sort of deep fake problem. So if you go to robfreeman.com forward slash liveness, as the you can see in the link below this video, um, you can find a, a list of a dozen companies that are building products in the liveness detection area, just not just face liveness detection, but also voice liveness detection. And um, yeah, no, I think it's going to become something much more common. I think Apple will eventually be rolling out its face ID service to not just local authentication on the iPhone, but I would expect that its uh, login with Apple service will probably eventually in incorporate some sort of biometric service like Face ID or Touch ID or hopefully both. And that that will be hopefully, I mean, I just, I think it's kind of inevitable that we're gonna have this massive problem and hopefully Apple will be able to develop some sort of a third party service that uh, is available for people to use uh, to log in with their real identity. And uh, hopefully that will be rolled out to third party services, not just uh, logging into your iPhone. Like you could use it for your websites, your important websites, your important applications. Um, I think Apple's well poised to do that type of thing and do well with it. So uh, anyway, this that's it in a nutshell, but I um, hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.